Can we just appreciate Russo's boats? I love it. I like how they don't even see the chest that's right there, like... And they're like, no, we're going to shoot at each other, even though it's not doing any damage. They don't have PvP on, so it doesn't matter. I can't get good aim on you, bro. Do you actually aim? Dano friends, if you haven't been up to date, there is now an event called RB Battles, which has been going on for a while, where 16 Roblox YouTubers have to fight in Build a Boat for Treasure to be the winner. And a few days ago, it was finally time for the battle of Build a Boat for Treasure. So if you're wondering where I've been, I've been hiding from you guys because I didn't want anyone to spoil what was going to happen. I wanted to do a review video, but I didn't have the time to do it. So now it's it's finally time to do it and there's already a spoiler on my screen it says here who is the winner who is that tofu gaming is the winner congratulations no there's already a spoiler I just started but that's okay I don't really care who's the winner I really want to know how they're going to do build a boat for treasure battle i would guess if i had to guess i think they're going to do who builds the most beautiful boat or who's going to get the closest to the end but let's just see how they're going to make a battle out of build a boat for treasure i'm very curious okay i'm here let's see what happens okay so the contestants are tofu that's this one and this one was called hyper i think i already forgot i already forgot what this one was called i think hyper tofu versus hyper tofu versus hyper tofu will be the winner that's a spoiler i got spoiled by the by the maker of the event why would you put the spoiler anyway that's okay i really want to see what they're going to do okay let's check let's just let's just just go let's just see what happens oh my god are they actually doing pvp because he was shooting he was shooting the cannon did you see that i hit you boom so they are doing pvp no it's not doing damage so they probably don't have pvp on okay i think they're just going to try to make it to the end but they do have a lot of cannons so maybe they're going to do a pv they're actually going to do a pvp but what is that is that cannons too? Like a giant platform with cannons? I have one question. Are we camping? Cause this is intense. Russell always brings all the puns. And can we just appreciate the editing? The editing in these videos is so good. If the editor is watching this, please become my editor. Please, I need your help. Uh, I think right now there's only, there's the finals. It will be Brianna Plays. I think Seedang, Brianna Plays, Creek, and tofu and i voted for creek so i really hope that creek wins epic minigames because then i get like a special item that's what you get creek if you're watching this video you have to win epic minigames because then i get that item then i get this a shield for i think it's a back item so you get the a person shield to put on your back this entire championship will receive an awesome shield of wisdom hyper he's good at building in blocksburg but let's see if he can build boats okay so he's like a blocksburg youtuber i guess which means that he could have won because that i guess that means you're kind of a good builder so he could have had a chance to win this i don't know if i would have to choose who would win out of these because i don't know tofu and hyper that well but if he plays a lot of blocksburg i maybe i would have guessed that he would win because that kind of means that maybe he's a good builder but yeah i already know because roblox spoiled it for me so i already know the tofu is gonna win i came into this competition knowing i was and what does he play i don't i don't actually remember what tofu plays i think he just plays all kinds of roblox games like the simulators and stuff but i'm not really sure you know it's going to be a good video if they start off with this right here best boat ever mwah, mwah. great great boats Let's go. The competitors have nine minutes to build a boat that can last the longest on the river of death. Yep. That's what I guessed. That's what I guess. I guessed either um, most beautiful boat or who could get the farthest. So this is the first challenge is who's going to get the farthest. Then the second challenge, should I guess PvP or the most beautiful? I'm going to guess for the second part, they're going to uh, do who can build the most beautiful boat. Okay, let's see if I'm right. 
And part two is sort of like part one, except they only have six minutes to build their boat. What a twist! Oh, can it's make the same. Okay, so it's two times who can get the farthest, but you don't have a lot of time to build your boat. Only nine minutes for in the first round and then six minutes. Okay, okay, okay. So... Um, if I was in this, it would be easy if you can just load up your boat or if you have a lot of strong blocks. And if you play the game as much as we do, we just know how you can make a boat that can get really far, right? You could just build a... if you could just get a plane seat and make your typical wheel, you can probably get almost to the end, if not completely to the end. I, we could probably build that in like six minutes, can't you? It's pretty easy to build a wheel. I guess we'll have to find out what kind of blocks they have. Do they get like the same amount of blocks or do they get a lot Lot of robux to buy i think they probably get robux to buy money with or maybe they get to play on their own account i'm not really sure let's just find out so we're gonna allow you guys to use up to twenty thousand gold and two thousand robux on purchasing the two thousand robux is not included in the gold purchasing so two thousand robux twenty thousand gold that's your wow. but the gold the, the gold the, the robux if you're in a challenge that is that short the, the robux doesn't get you anything other than gold or maybe like a few like what else does gold get you wait can you still get these okay now i'm not really sure if you can still get these or if these i think these are now gone so they recorded this probably a while ago maybe even a month ago or longer i don't really know okay so they're opening chests that's good good he's opening the biggest chest so he's getting really strong blocks I've played it once before. Yes, I have. It's not looking oh good for Team Hyper over here. Oh god, I'm taking an L. I'm taking a bad L today. <laughs> okay, so Tofu just said he's played it once and Hyper has played it never. So that's that's it's really hard. Do you guys remember the first time you played? Because then you don't know anything and you get like six wood and a chair. That's all you have when you first start the game, I think. So they're lucky they get all these Robux to buy blocks with. If they were smart, they would look up at the codes and then it would get like a bunch of free blocks and maybe candy and stuff. Some experience in Bloxburg though, so I mean, you are pretty good at building. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. If he is a Bloxburg YouTuber, he probably knows how to build. So that's why I thought maybe he could win. But it all depends on how clever you make your boat. We thought we'd take the closest game to Bloxburg, which is build boat for treasure, you know? <laughs> yeah, I get I'm building a house to build a boat for treasure, you know, so it's kind of similar. I know he's joking, but since I'm, I like building a house in build a boat for treasure. So I think it's kind of similar. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. If you want to go big and get the scaling stretch tool, that thing might come in handy, but you know, it's 9,000 gold. So it's, it's like half your is, I bought it. <laughs> I feel like the scaling tool is only useful if you have a lot of blocks to scale with to begin with. If you have almost no blocks, technically they would have sort of like 40,000 gold. The scaling tool is 9,000 gold, so that's a fourth almost of the entire money they have. And they don't have that much blocks, so I think in their situation I wouldn't get the scaling tool. Uh, unless if the chest, I guess the chest could give a lot of blocks. Maybe it's worth it if you first open a bunch of the biggest chest and then you have like a few hundred blocks. Then it would maybe be worth it to save the time because they only have first nine minutes and then six minutes in the second round. So I, yeah, okay, yo, you know what? Now it's hard. Okay, okay, I guess it could be worth it, but only if you have, let's say, about a thousand total blocks or more. Where does this go? Dude, this is he is still <laughs> placing it block by block. Why did you? Yes, there we go. Okay, he is not stretching at all. Look, he is stretching. Tofu is using the stretching tool, but Hyper got the stretching tool and then he isn't using it. So then you just wasted 9,000 coins, gold. If you just buy the stretching tool and then don't use it, it's a huge waste of money if you don't have that much. If it's like really dark, I think it's, feel it's pretty dark. It's because it's just such a weird rainy day outside. So I'm sorry if it's dark. Let's just, let's just look at the video. Let's just look at the video. Here, here, how are they doing this? How are they doing this? You see this? Like, it's like some kind of spectate. That they have done this in all the other videos as well. Like, they have shown videos of certain games where you cannot even watch... Look at the game from that angle. And then they show footage from an angle. I'm like, how are they doing this? Is there, like, some kind of invisible ghost hacker who is recording... Look at this. Look at how this angle. So someone is recording it like this. And then they're flying towards Tofu. Are you seeing it? How are you? There's like an invisible cameraman ghost, I think. 
because they've been doing this in like other games like murder mystery so, so how do you do this i would still think if i would be watching this and i hadn't been spoiled i knew i would still vote for hyper to win because he's building his boat out of stronger blocks like the granite this block is of course much stronger than the block tofu is using which i call clay the brownish block with no texture on it remember guys you're gonna be dodging a lot of obstacles a lot of bad weather a lot of crazy things Sharks, UFOs, geysers, and maybe oh some crazy God. hosts that might sabotage. Who knows? Uh -oh. I don't what? Know. Can you do that? Wait, what? You can do anything. Are the hosts going to sabotage them, like with harpoons? I mean, it's going to be pretty hard because it kind of looks like the hosts also don't play this game a lot. So, do they even know what they can do? Because if they don't have isolation mode on, they could just use um, they could just use the harpoons and stuff and planes to troll but kind of you kind of have to know how the game works before you can even troll in this game i can't tell uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's just going to fall over that's just how build a boat works if you make it taller than it is wide it's just going to fall over because it's the, the way it, the friction that the water it's just not going to keep standing while it's going over the water it's going to Fall over. It always does. Uh, it, it'll, it'll work, I guess. Uh, no, yeah, it's not yeah, going to work. It doesn't have a roof. It, you just build a platform, basically. If it, if in any way it turns upside down while you're sitting on it, or are they even going to use chairs? What if they don't even understand chairs? What if they're not even going to use chairs? I don't know. They haven't put in chairs so far, and they have no idea what they're doing. What if they're not going to- Oh, I want to see what happens if they don't use chairs. Hyper has such a good boat. If he just puts a roof on it, it's actually really strong. One of the first boats I ever made that made it to the end, it was like just two platforms with pillars around it. So to connect the bottom platform and the, bo uh, and the top platform. And then I was just sitting in it. That's all. And that actually made it to the end. So if he, if he doesn't put a roof, it's just going to flip and he's going to fall into the water. Oh, oh is that what he does now? Yeah, yeah. They just found out how the scaling tool works. They bought it before they even knew what it did. Well, I guess it's hard to know what it does if you haven't tried it. I wish I could be there and shout advice like, Don't get the jet back! Don't get it! Okay, continue. Oh god, okay, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of this. I don't know what this does, but uh... Oh jeez. I wish they had a timer. I have no idea how much time they have left. They said nine minutes, but there's no timer on the screen. So there's no way for us to know how far they are. Fast. Yeah, I know 100%. Yeah, like Why is he just going to sit in it? Why did he build everything below it if he's just going to sit in the area in the top? Okay, Hyper is finally making a roof. Hyper is finally making a roof. So that's good. I actually have a good feeling about him, but it's still luck you still have to be lucky so they are actually not supposed to look at each other's boat but if you look at here if you look here you can actually see tofu's boat from here from hyper how would he he would have to play like this so he cannot see it otherwise i don't know I don't know. I have to say Hyper's boat actually kind of makes sense to me. Like he's adding layers of different types of blocks to add strength to it. And wait, not this one, this one. And he actually put like a steering wheel and lights and stuff. So he actually makes it look nice. And it has a bit, very big risk of flipping upside down. But otherwise, I definitely, if I had to choose between them, I actually really like Hyper's boat because Tofu's boat is kind of a mess. Maybe it'll make it to the end, I don't know. Maybe Maybe it'll get farther, but I just think that hype. I just think that Tofu's boat is kind of uh, which one is it? Let's see. It's just kind of a mess. Look at these blocks just sticking out in every direction. At least uh, Hyper doesn't have that, so I like his boat more. But yeah, we'll just have to see which one is going to make it to the end. He's putting the blocks here, and he's instantly putting the blocks on the other side. It has to be symmetrical. Mm. Feels good if it's if it's symmetrical. Oh wait! Seven, wait! Seven, no! I need this symmetry. Bro, Look at the little arms. 
Can we just appreciate for a second that this guy has never played this game and he just bought a jetpack and he just puts it there and then he's like, yeah, this is good. I'm not gonna use it. just put it somewhere. <laughs> he's just going to put it there. I really oh, hope my boat doesn't fall over. That's it's it's so it. going to fall Ooh, over for sure. I don't know what the steering wheel does, by the way. It doesn't do anything. It Good doesn't. Question. <laughs> Judges, I didn't even put a steering wheel in mine. It doesn't so, do uh... anything. Dude, I'm kind of like... It's actually kind of weird when you think about it, that the steering wheel doesn't do anything, but the chair, like the car or the plane chair, let you steer. But the steering wheel doesn't let you steer. That's kind of weird when you think about it. Dude, Great. this is a durable bike. He doesn't have a... He, Tofu doesn't have a ceiling either. But he can, he's unlikely to fall upside down because his uh, build is tall. So it's more likely to fall onto its side than upside down. But still risky to have an empty... Uh, to have no ceiling. Dude, there's freaking tornadoes! And the rocks just increased Ooh. so much! Oh my god! It's what about to get this? fluffy, guys! <laughs> Uh, this makes me think of when I played build a boat for the first time when you don't know any of the levels And you're just going to make a boat and then you for the first time just like them You see like tornadoes for the first time and sharks and whatever and you're like What the sharks and now we're so used to it because we play it so much that we that to us This isn't special, but for new plays. It's so cool like when there's like tornadoes I wish I could like feel that again like when it's all new that is so cool Luckily, we have Chill, who is always making new levels. He's going to fall over, here we go. And, yeah, here we go. Yeah, how is he not falling over? Yeah, okay, there has to be... There has to be, like, an invisible cameraman again. Like, that shot, if you look... Not this one. Now. That has been recorded from the, the the eyes of someone who's just flying there. So I guess the, the hosts are just flying around and recording, I guess. I think they're just... I think it's these people are flying around. I told you it's going to fall upside down if it's too flat and no roof it's going okay but he put a roof so he's more safe now than i first saw it so he can still make it pretty far this is so annoying i built up so this wouldn't happen are you serious <laughs> Dude, Ruza, I'm literally upside down in this game. Okay, so my prediction that he was going to be upside down came true, but I really thought that Tofu by now would also have fallen over, and that hasn't happened at all. He's not even fallen over. That's crazy. I really thought that he would fall more. He would fall faster, I mean. How is Joe's boat lasting? I don't know! It's actually really lucky that they're at the same... Like that they're going at the same speed because usually when you're trying to race someone one is like two levels ahead uh, And one just stays behind and then it's really hard to tell who got the farthest because you cannot see each other But they can easily see each other so they can easily know who get the, gets the farthest as soon as one of them moves The other one is pretty much the winner. Oh, no. <gasps> yep. Okay. He's fallen over He's fallen over but I'm still going to say I was wrong because my prediction was he's going to fall over at like Maybe even before reaching the first level, so he lasted way longer. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that beautiful scream, I want to hear that again. <laughs> his chair! His chair just broke! Joe, I'm turning into a zombie, bro! Hold on for your life! No! He's dead! What? He died! Oh, he fell upside down because his roof was too small to protect him, to serve as a, like, a, 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 a spare... Bo bottom if he got turned upside down uh, the ceiling was way too small and it broke and now he fell into the water so he oofed and he lost the first challenge he's still sailing oh he's at the last level he actually made it he actually made it all the way to the last level with that simple boat that he made in less than 10 minutes that's actually really impressive that's actually wow and and if if the editing if they didn't cut out too much then that also means that hyper almost made it just as far with a boat made in less than 10 minutes that's actually that's impressive to me that's pretty good oh, he just you died he's dead. i gotta nice. say i am very impressed looking at your boats i didn't wow. think it would last that long so. that was exactly amazing. same same i actually thought that they would get to like 
maybe halfway, but they made it pretty much to the end. Uh, if he would make, if he would still have the chair, then Tofu would have a chance to make it past the waterfall and actually made it to the end. That would have been insane if he made it to the end on the first try. What is that? Point. What is what is he standing on right now? Why does his plot have like a bunch of wood and just random blocks? Oh wait, this is not a, this is not one of the contestants. This is uh this is one of the hosts. This is Russo. As we head into round two, which is a shorter build time. Okay, We're so he made like a right? little pier with uh blocks on it. And I'm very curious how they're going to use what they learned from the last thing because basically you could count when they what they just did as the first try ever now it's the second try so they've learned kind of what levels exist they've learned how like if you build too high it's going to fall over um they've learned that if your chair that your chair can be destroyed and then you have nowhere to sit so maybe they'll put more chairs um uh, hyper has learned that his boat can be flipped upside down so he's probably going to put more effort into making a good ceiling a good roof over himself uh, he has learned that you can use the cannons to break the blocks they have learned so many things so i'm very curious how they're going to use that information uh to try to win round number two if i was them i would try to get maybe like a thousand can you get a thousand of these with twenty thousand gold maybe i think i think no no you, i don't think you can but you can get at least 500 of them i would probably just spend like as much as possible to get almost just these three ready. two one build Place. all right let's go let's go let's go oh right. i'm getting so out. Ooh, I'm okay getting like the, they just started and he's instantly using the stretching tool effectively so that's very good i feel like you know height is is the way to go in this game because it might like, be honestly you're, you're on could be. i mean building it doesn't really matter what direction you build in if you build high it's just going to fall over and it's just going to be a long boat so so building up or building long is kind of the same thing unless if you build too long for the level then you have to build up i decided to give up on the aesthetics okay it That's looks fine. like you gave up a long time ago <laughs> am i right audience whoa russo is roasting them so hard Just saying. okay facts Dang. all right okay now i got some inspiration you have to stretch tool you have it's right there i can see it right there stop putting block by block guys get oh, around Hyper once again putting his beautiful jetpacks on the wall. Seven, six, put five, a ceiling. Five, Come on, four, put a roof. Three. Is he once again not going to put a roof? No, Hyper. If he puts the chair on the top part, what is the entire purpose of the bottom part? I don't even know. At least he got the paint tool. So I was actually thinking they weren't even going to use it. So that's nice that even though it's just a little bit of red, it's nice that he uses the paint tool. Why did I make my chair sideways again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm okay, so this video was actually recorded before the chairs got the little arrow pointing which direction this is. Which is, by the way, like the best update ever. Thank you, Chill. So that we know which direction the cha chairs are facing. All right, I'm ready too. Three, oh, I'm two. So Yes. One, go! What the what? heck? Oh my gosh, you're getting each other! Does this work, bro? I am <laughs> they don't even have PvP on. It doesn't matter if you shoot. Shoot at the rocks in front of you. Don't shoot. It doesn't do anything if you don't have PvP on. They're like, oh my god, it's such an intense battle. But it's like they don't have PvP on. So it doesn't matter. I can't get good aim on you, bro. Wow. Can, do you actually oh. aim? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. Like I like how they don't even see the chest that's right there. Like, and they're like, no, we're going to shoot at each other, even though it's not doing any damage. Not this again. I hate these stupid geysers. This is why I lost last time. <laughs> and because you didn't put a ceiling, it's not, you cannot blame the geysers if you don't, don't even put a ceiling. He didn't, doesn't put the ceiling. So if he's going to get flipped upside down again, literally the same thing is going to happen. So he didn't really learn too much from that mistake. How are you better uh -oh. than me? <laughs> Can we just appreciate Russo's boat? Uh, I think it's backwards or he put his thrusters backwards. I think he his boat is backwards he just put a bunch of blocks he just made like the wooden plank and put blocks around it's just spamming blocks everywhere around it and then he's just clicking go this is his boat i love it it's all holy over cow. for you dylan <laughs> hey shut up joe holy cow my
My boat's just going sideways, dude. Oh my god. What are you doing in my swamp? I'm sorry, was that a Shrek reference? You can't just make Shrek references. You know what happens. You summoned him. You summoned Tiny Shrek. Why do I have this giant rock on the side? That's a little unfair, don't you think? Judges, no. Keep oh, going. Oh, oh, oh. They're actually lucky that the last level changed to the big rock level instead of like the cannon level. If you did, if you saw the last round, it was the cannon level, and now it's just the big rock level, not the spiked wall or anything. So that's really lucky, actually. I think this is pretty much the easiest. Upside down. <laughs> oh, yes, they made it. How do we make we made it! They both made it to the end! Is that the end? You made it to the end? We made they it! They actually that, made it to the end! The end? Oh, if that? you guys make it to the end, it's whoever gets their first... That is crazy because they didn't make it to the end with their nine minute boat, but they did make it to the end with their six minute boat, which had less time to make it, but they still made it to the end. <gasps> Yes, so Tofu so made it to the end first by so little, so by so nice. little. Okay, well, I'm going to leave a like for that. That was a really fun video. I think it's really cool to have a battle in Build a Boat. I know a lot of you guys have said it before, but I think it's really hard to really make it. But it would be really cool if some people would do like a battle. Maybe YouTubers, maybe uh, just normal players, maybe YouTubers versus normal players, like me versus some of you guys. Um, and we could do PvP battle, beautiful boat, who has the most beautiful boat, or other stuff i think that would be really cool but congratulations to tofu for being the winner of build a boat for treasure but once again the biggest congratulations goes to build a boat for treasure for finally being part of an official roblox event even though it deserved to be part of an official roblox event years ago now roblox has stopped doing official events like they used to do and now finally build a boat and chill thrill get get recognized chill thrill get turned into a toy congratulations for that uh the Game is put into a book as well. Congratulations for that. Again, finally Build a Boat is getting the recognition it deserves. So congratulations. And I'm very curious who's going to win with this event. And I cannot wait for when they do maybe like a season two. Maybe they'll do it once a year. Maybe they'll do it soon. Maybe they'll start with another season of this soon. I don't know. But I think it's a really cool, uh, sort of like a battle royale between all the YouTubers. So yeah, and I had a lot of fun watching this video. I'm sorry for you guys that I wasn't talking to anyone. I was hiding from the internet, but now I'm back. And it's time to make some more Build a Boat videos ourselves. See you guys soon in another Build a Boat video. Or on Saturdays, I usually go live. See you then. Don't forget to stomp. Like it down.